The concept of a nocturnal zoo might not seem too crazy these days. Many animals are nocturnal and are way more active at night. Because we've all had that experience of going to the zoo when one of the animals is still asleep because they're nocturnal. Still never seen a tiger awake at the zoo. But did you know that the world's first nocturnal zoo, or nighttime zoo, is actually the one at Mandai? The concept for the night safari was brought up back in the 80s by Dr. Ong Sui Law. Who's he? He was formerly the executive chairman of the Singapore Zoo. It's quite surprising how no one actually thought of one. But I guess everyone in that meeting was like, yeah, let's do it. Clarification, this is how I imagine it to be, okay? The Singapore Night Safari was then opened in 1994 and is only open between the hours of 7pm and midnight, which is when these animals are usually more active. And ever since the opening of the Night Safari, there's only been four other nocturnal zoos around the world. The Night Safari is also bigger than the Singapore Zoo, coming in at 35 hectares compared to the Singapore Zoo's 28 hectares. This means that the Night Safari is the same size as the Singapore Sports Hub. Not just the stadium, I mean everything else around it as well. Or about the size of four Vivo cities. Yeah. The Night Safari receives about 1.3 million visitors per year, which is about a quarter of our country's population. And has interesting animals such as the Malayan tapir, the critically endangered Sanda pangolin, and also the ever-famous... <laughs> While the Singapore Zoo is only open between 8.30am and 6pm, the Night Safari is where all you night owl animal lovers can go and see actual night owls in your functional hours.